Hi guys, this is jason.com and I'm here with the Moto G84 available in the Viva Magenta Hue. Aside from this hue, there are also two other versions. There's a Midnight Blue and Marshmallow Blue. We're dealing here with a mid-range handset, which is one of the lightest and, uh, well, uh, one of the slimmest on the market. I'm talking about 7.6 millimeters in thickness, as well as 166.8 grams. And that happens with a special Echo leather backside, a leather imitation, which is good looking and pretty grippy. Now, aside from that, the frame is flat, helps with the grip. Uh, the frame is plastic and the backside is either Echo leather or plastic as well. The screen you're seeing here is a P-OLED 6.5 inch, 120 hertz refresh rate, which should be good enough for your gaming needs. The bezels are, well, not very narrow, but at least they're pretty symmetrical. Now, aside from that, we also have some minor IP certification, IP54 for dust and splash resilience now the handset you can see here is available now in September and I have a few surprises related to it some of these surprises include the large quantity of RAM 12 gigs large quantity of storage 256 there's even a micro SD card slot there is even an audio jack in this uh, small volume and even stereo speakers which will be tweaked courtesy of the Dolby Atmos section which you can see here we have these tweaks smart audio music movie game podcast and custom and aside from those there's a battery here which is a 5000 mAh unit somehow they crammed it inside with 30 watts wire charging and they even have a charger in the box now uh, there's not much to show here on account of the well interface but i can show you something related to the camera if i enter the camera area you'll see some familiar options for motorola fans i have panorama here there's a dual capture there's dual capture video there's a document scanning available as well plus uh, spot color and uh, time lapse and more the pro section you can tweak the exposure iso white balance focus we have a portrait feature and also the well photo section uh, video is only done in Full HD on account of the Snapdragon 695 CPU inside and slow motion is part of the package as well. The fingerprint scanner is embedded in the screen, it's of the optical variety and uh, the software is Android 13 with a custom Moto interface on top with a lot of customization. You have here fonts, colors, icon shapes, display size and text size, layout, uh, dark mode, sounds and of course themes. There are the gestures which you can use to control the device, quite a few of them as well, plus Moto Secure which has the very useful feature called Pin Pad Scramble. It scrambles the uh, numbers so people won't be able to identify and read your pin as you input it in a succession. And of course network protection and auto lock are available as well plus tips display and play in the play section we have even some gaming options Snapdragon 695 is no slouch and uh, aside from that we have a uh, audio jack at the bottom believe it or not and stereo speaker usb-c 2.0 and 5g connectivity the device has a 16 megapixel front camera you can see here cut in the top of the screen you can see it better now 16 megapixels and if you go to the back side will be treated to a dual camera setup and a surprise 50 megapixel main camera has f1.9 aperture and optical image stabilization plus there's an ultra wide 8 megapixel camera with autofocus which means you can take macro shots the main software of the camera doesn't have it but um, you should be able to get it with a third-party camera app the main shock here is how light the phone is for such a big battery for such a powerful screen POLED, and for such productivity features uh, when i say productivity i'm talking about ready for you can connect this to a PC and use it as a webcam. You can connect it to a monitor with a keyboard and mouse. You can do screen share, hotspot, file transfer, and even a smart, uh, smart clipboard. That's it from us. First contact with a Moto G84 mid-range 5G phone with a large battery. A price of $300 and an excellent OLED screen.